Today, I've got three random packages that I wanted to crack open with you guys. So let's get started. And now the first package that I wanted to start with is this one coming in from Amazon, because some of you guys might have seen a little while ago, I had ordered a Funko Pop that came in not so great. And for a quick recap, I had seen that the Force Ghost 3-pack had restocked, and when I went into Amazon, they had it for $45, so I was like, okay, I'll purchase one because I thought that was retail. But it turns out that's not retail. It's actually supposed to be $30, so when it came in, it is a real figure, but it seems to have come from this third party, and it doesn't look great. Like, some quick things to note were the window is cracked, and not even just on one side, it's on both. The front also has a huge cut going up the middle of Anakin and then to the top here, and I know it's kind of hard to see on camera, but in person it's pretty noticeable. It had also been retaped on the top, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is definitely a lot of residue there, and it seems like it was like on the ground and then a bunch of dirt stuck to it. It was kind of gross. Oh, and then the biggest thing is the bottom, because it's got about like five or six return stickers on top of each other, and then there is a huge cut right down the middle. And so while I was unboxing this figure, I went onto Amazon to see if it was still available, and it was coming from Funko this time from only $30, so let's crack it open and see how you're actually supposed to package this thing. And I've actually seen how a couple different people have gotten them in directly from Funko, so I'm hoping that it looks like that today. Oh, it looks a lot nicer. And so let me show you guys what I'm talking about with this nicer packaging, because look at this, it's inside of a sorter, inside a bubble wrap. Oh, and even on the bottom here, check this out. It's got like a little label that tells you exactly what's inside of the bubble wrap. Pretty crazy. And if you guys are wondering how the last one was packaged, it was literally just like this. No bubble wrap or anything. And so now everybody, let's get into the new one that we just got today. And fingers crossed this one's all right. And I mean, with the amount of packaging that they've got on this thing, if it isn't okay, I'm seriously gonna be surprised. And all right, everybody, here we go. Let's find out if the box looks all right. And it definitely looks a lot better already. And oh my gosh, this thing is, I mean, it looks perfect. And now normally I wouldn't care so much about my boxes, but when it comes to something like this, where I'm a huge Star Wars collector, I'd like to have them as nice as possible, especially if I can get it again for literally retail. Actually, now that I think about it, cheaper than what I paid last time, and I thought $45 was a good deal. Oh, and also this is something kind of interesting that I'm just noticing. They put on the bottom here like a sticker for the label, when on this one, the original one that we opened up did not have that. I don't know why or what's going on there, but that's also kind of odd. And well, anyways, I'm not going to be opening up this one today just because it really is in such nice condition. I'd like to keep it in this for as long as I possibly can. But if you guys want to take a look at the figures one more time inside the box, here they are. All right, now let's get into this next package here, which is actually coming in from Jeff. And I picked it up out of my PO box just a couple days ago. And so I guess everybody, let's find out what Jeff sent over. And it looks like there is something inside of here. But before we check, there's a letter. Hi, Top Pops. I bought this figure 10 or so years ago for a few bucks at a liquidation world. I don't own any other wacky wobblers kind of interesting. So it was a little out of place. I noticed you mentioned this one in a couple of your videos. I just started collecting Funko Pops in early 2020. I'm into horror and music, metal, maybe not your favorites. I mean, I do enjoy horror. I've got a lot of the figures. And when it comes to metal music, I don't listen to it too much, but I can appreciate it. You probably get a lot of requests and I have one small one. FYE is supposed to be re-releasing the Michael Myers Blood Splatter number 622. We don't have FYE out here, so if you do see it at an FYE or a Sunrise Records, please put it in a video. Thanks, Jeff. And you know what, Jeff? I don't think I have ever seen that one in the Sunrise Records or FYE, but if I do, I will definitely put it in the video for you. And so I guess, guys, now let's find out which Wacky Wobbler Jeff sent over because I am pretty curious. And the only thing that I can think of is maybe something that I would have mentioned at the flea market because we do see a lot of older stuff there. And so let's find out which one it is. Oh, and it is from the flea market. Oh, wow, this is a cool one. So this one here is the lizard, which is, I believe, a Spider-Man villain? I think so. Yeah, um, well, I, <laughs> literally, as I was saying that, I see the Amazing Spider-Man comic on the back of the box. It's a Spider-Man villain. And I totally have seen this exact one at the flea market a couple times. It was at the back booth and it was out of the box and kind of dirty. So I debated on it a couple times, but never picked it up. And this here is a lot nicer than that one. So Jeff, thank you so much for sending this one over. And if you guys are curious as to when this released, oh wow, 2008. And a little fun fact, that is actually the first year that I started collecting Funko products. Not Funko Pops, just Funko products. With my first thing being a Greedo Wacky Wobbler. And I do have all of them still. So if you guys want to see a video on that, or maybe I compare the Funko Pops to the Wacky wobblers, I could definitely do it. I just need to find where they are because when we moved last year, they got thrown into a box and uh, I don't exactly know which box that is, but if you guys want it bad enough, I can find them. And well, anyways, now that I'm done rambling about wacky wobblers, let's get into our last package for today, which is coming in from Target. 
And this one should be another piece for my Diagon Alley set. All right, so let's see what this is. Yeah, I was right. This one is Ron with the Quality Quidditch Supplies. And the only thing that's too bad about this is I don't think he's got a broom. Nor do I see a broom on this entire figure. Like, I see, of course, the golden snitch at the top, but other than that, there is no broom. Funko, what are you doing here? Actually, now that I think about it, there might be a complete broom shop, and so this one wouldn't have brooms. It would just have other Quidditch supplies like helmets and golden snitches and stuff like that. That might be what it is. Okay, so really quickly, everybody, I looked up a photo of the Quidditch shop and I actually found that the broom is in the front window. So I wasn't wrong. I just feel like Funko should have added a little bit more detail there. Like put a broom somewhere on this figure. Because I feel like when somebody mentions the Quidditch shop, the first thing that pops into your head is the Nimbus 2000 sitting in the front window. Okay, now before I get a little too dramatic here, let me actually take it out of the box to see if there is a broom on here somewhere. Like maybe Ron's holding one or something. And here we go. Is there a broom anywhere on this? Uh, it's got the quality Quidditch supplies over there. And then we also have Ron and he's got a pile of books. And I guess the only thing that they really added to make it look like quality Quidditch supplies is the golden snitch on the top. And if you guys want to see what it looks like, well, here it is. And no, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that this is a bad figure. I just wish that they would have added a little bit more detail because the broom is the main reason we see it in the film. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today. And let me know in the comment section below if you guys would have done the same thing that I did for the Force Ghost 3-pack where you reorder it just because the box was damaged. Because for me, when it comes to a line that I really enjoy, especially Star Wars, I want to have these in the nicest condition possible because I really do enjoy having them in the collection. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, come subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Big deal like TJ Maxx, bought some cataracts, watching Naughty Tech, Nick Cage, how I